OK, so in this case, ladies and gentlemen, they're asking us, uh, they give us the circumference of the great circle is 26 meters. And then what they're asking us is to go ahead and find the area, or I'm sorry, the volume, right? So to go ahead and find the volume in this case, or for, sorry, first of all, to find the volume, we need to go and use the formula, which is volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. Right? That's our formula for the volume, correct? Yes? 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 OK. So to, to figure this out, the only variable we need to do is know r. We don't know what the radius is. The only thing they tell us is this great circle, right? Remember, we take a sphere and we can kind of slice it right in half. What is exposed would be the distance of the great circle. And they say the circumference is 26 meters. So to find the radius, we need to know the definition of the circumference or the formula. Circumference equals 2 pi r. You could also say it's di or diameter times pi. Diameter is the same thing as 2r. So it doesn't really matter which formula you want to use. That's a c. So circumference equals 2 pi r. My circumference is approximately 26 meters. So I just write in 26 and for c equals 2 pi r. Now I solve for r. So I divide by 2 pi. You can divide them separately if you like to, or you can just do it at the same time. Um, so now I take my calculadora. And I just take 26 divided by 2 pi. And I get 4.13 when I round to the tenth. So r equals 4.1. Now, to find the volume, I just plug in my value of r. Volume equals 4 thirds pi times 4.1 cubed. So I do 4.1 raised to the third power. And then I multiply that times pi. And I multiply that times 4 thirds. And therefore, my final answer, volume equals 296.8 meters. And again, remember, your units, when we're talking about volume, is going to be cubed. OK, any last questions on that, ladies and gentlemen?